All right. Hopefully this makes it to you guys. The lower disassembly and the hammer disassembly made it, but those were shorter. I don't know if my SD card has to. I need. I might need to replace it. It's. You know. It is. I, I think I bought the SD camera when I uh, SD card when I bought my T uh, T3i. So it was like 2010. I don't know. We have to restart over. That's okay though. It's easy. We. So what happened is we installed several parts now. Okay. First one, we have the 200 millimeter 603. Yes, it's insane. It's a big boy. You'll see, and there's a couple things I'll talk about that. We installed the quickly selector switch charge handle in black. We'll go over that. We have the folding thumb rest. I'm an idiot. I bought the wrong side. If you are right handed, guys, get the left side. I'm so stupid. I read right and I didn't think, oh, well, right side. I'm so, st that's my fault. But I'm going to show you it anyways. It's very nice. I love it. And uh, we got the uh, G Series Tactical Adjustable Trigger Black. It does work for the AAP, so don't be worried about that. Okay. And, <clears throat> and then we have the AAP One Piece Black Magwell. Since we missed installing this, uh, and the thankfully, thankfully, guys, is I bought, I bought it in red. Okay. So hopefully what I'll do is probably maybe I'll get an extra SD card like a brand new one just in case but I hope, I'm hoping this one makes it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to try to walk you through it. So we'll get a video on that. First of all, let's start with the Magwell. Okay. Magwell looks beautiful. Look at these. Look at the shape, the contours. I only have one complaint and that's just from me being really picky and aesthetic. As for right here, it's a nice port. Works with... Uh, Max, okay. You guys see, it is a lightweight, extremely lightweight. Okay, I'll take it off. I'm gonna weigh it for you guys. The only problem I have with it, you guys can probably see already, is this gap. I this gap drives me nuts. <laughs> I I'm probably what I'm probably gonna do is either a one, three D print something, or two. Uh, get like shrink wrap, like a black shrink wrap, and maybe just put it in there. Maybe it will blend in. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure that out. It's just an aesthetic point of view. I don't want to see the gap here. That would be the only thing I would have like constructive criticism. It's for future notices. Hey, just bring this up. It's, it's, it's pretty sizable. Okay, let me show you guys how sizable it is. Just from, just look at that. Okay, uh, just just roughly doing it. It's sizable. Uh, is it the end of the world? Hell no. Okay, it, it's still a excellent looking magwell, and we have lots of other magwells to test out. Let me show you guys how much it weighs, and then what we'll, we'll do is we'll shoot it too. And I I tried pushing up and down and everything. Okay, so it's in the right position. Look, you guys see? Come on, focus. So, okay, yeah, it's too hard to see, damn. Yeah, you can't see the hole. But you can see, even if I push it up, you, you just, you can't. It's in the right position because the screw will take it and lock in place. But look how light this is. That's one thing I can appreciate. Thirteen point three grams. Okay, extremely light. Okay, just called fourteen grams. This it is extremely light. Beautiful, beautiful work. I just want that lip raised just a little. If I had to redo it, feels great. The quality is nice. So, I gotta say, uh, I am impressed with TTI. Right? Uh, they have set the bar high as a new company. I know they have like twenty years of experience. Uh, but I've been digging around, looking on and looking up and trying to find out any in information I have. They have a weird thing. I think there might be one of the only in the U.S., but they have a 60-day manufacturer warranty, which is insane. This guy's right here. The slide. Oops. All right. Uh, I'm having a garage sale here at my place, so everyone's going to be spamming me. Uh, this, $140. Uh, and then, it, you know, goes 140 all the way up to, I've seen it as high as like 168. So 140 to 168, even at its highest, 
is an amazing deal. Six inch fiber front sight, adjustable rear Bomar sight. It's insane. It's a really good deal. And then you have the great craftsmanship and then you have the TDC that comes with it. It's really a great deal. So I gotta give credit for them. And removable rails. This can go here or this can go here. There's only two things that if, if they gave an option, I would love to pay extra for it. I don't know, charge me an extra 10 bucks, whatever you want. I'd love to have a full rail. I know it's not necessary, but I still would love to have a full rail. I just love the look of rails. They're very aggressive looking. I think it just flows better. Um, I love that. I would love to see an addition if we could buy uh, just an extra full rail. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, and these are not needed at all by any means, okay? These are just like, uh, if I just had an extra thing. You guys see, it's beautiful on the inside, by the way. Excellent machine work. Um, the, if you have the 200 millimeter, if you buy 200 millimeter, you're okay. The inner barrel sits in here, okay? You can see right at the comp, it sits in there, you're fine. But if you don't have that, you cannot use the stock inner barrel. You just, you simply cannot, okay? It's too short. I tried it. What happens is the, sh the BBs will hit it. It chews it up and the BBs get stuck in there. It's funny. It's, you cannot use this at all. You need at least a six inch. This is a six inch PDI. Unfortunately, this six inch PDI does not sit inside the compensator. It's just shy of two to three millimeters of sitting in there. So the only thing that's holding it in place are these two screws. That is it. That there's no support in there. You guys see how empty it is. So the reality is, is um, I do have a pen. Uh, oh, I think I drew it. Okay, yeah, I drew it for the I drew it for the video. That I have to redo. I drew it. Okay. So I'm gonna I want to 3D print some uh, some like baffles or baffles in it, and then and shove it through and then just have. You know, just a little support in there. Uh, I feel like that's something that they could either do in the future or, or sell as a, a kit for maybe people who are nuts who don't want to run a 200 millimeter kit or run a six inch. You need, a, I feel like you need at least a six inch. You cannot get away with 129. Look at the difference. The the BBs just, they, they get chewed up. It's too far of a distance. That's from here to here, too far of a distance. This sits two to three millimeters just outside of that compensator. Okay, and I, you know, for people who maybe who are trying to make it look more, um, you know, real steel-ish, real sim, you don't want to see the inner barrel, okay? Because the thing is, when you have the two in here, you see it from the top. You don't see it from the side because there's no ports here, but you do see it from the top. Uh, other than that, th that's it. It's really two things, and those aren't even complaints. Those are just like uh, suggestions or things that, in reality, I can I can fix. Like I can fix the this this is simple 3d print you guys can make it out of styrofoam you don't even have to have it yeah you could do it out of styrofoam you could have cut it out yourself so and the rail system uh you know that's really relatively easy i could also 3d print that myself not a big deal um i just think it would be cool they've done an excellent job and the bar is set high there's not many upper receivers for what i've seen online that i feel like there's no more than five companies doing upper receivers and most of them are are the typical ruger like the standard ruger style remember this is based on a real steel guys so i think it's based on a ruger mark 404 you guys can correct me if i'm wrong uh they so they have like the standard one of that and then they have this the the volt quartz in style which tti uh copied from and action Ar army also did it too and then there's CTM who kind of took a different approach to it. So um, that's that. Okay, the trigger, extremely easy to install. Just one pin holding into it, very simple. Looks beautiful, feels great. It's such a nice texture, excuse me. It's the same texture as the thumb rest, okay? So the quality is just here. And the prices to me are very reasonable, okay? Just go on e-bike, you guys will see it, or uh, overseas, you also have it overseas. That's the only thing that is the pain in the butt, is, is I wasn't able to find all this at one store. One store does not have 
all of this. You do have to, unfortunately, still cherry pick. But I feel like that's just how Airsoft is always going to be. It's going to be really hard uh, just to have a lot of one thing or, you know, whatever. I, I feel like if I ever did a store, it'd be just the stuff I like or company, and I buy, like, a lot of it. So, but even then, you'd run out. you just run out naturally. So, trigger, easy to, easy to install. We'll do a video. If there's anything you guys need me to do a video on, like, hey, I need this ASAP, let me know. I'm so impressed with this 6-inch. I went ahead, and I'm locating, and I'm going to buy the 4.5 and the Mini Mamba. I think what we're going to do is turn this gun into a project where, because I don't think there's any, there's not like any pistol like this where we can switch the upper fast. It, it's so simple. You, you, you're so fast to switch this. And I feel like this would be the gun to build a project. And this is say, you know, if you're a, you know, primary player. Now, the only thing is, yes, I don't like the lower. I hate the hammer, the hammer something. I hate that it's, it's a Glock lower. Okay. I, I dislike that. Uh, I wish we could turn this into a semi-build. I'm already trying to figure out how how can I turn this into a semi-build where I don't... I would prefer, the funny thing, I would actually prefer a, a like a Glock 17 version of this where there's no full auto ca capacity because it's less moving parts as a primary pistol player. That's what I would prefer. But that would be a project down the road. Um, but this gun... Six inch, maybe you're out in the field, maybe you need to go indoor. Man, you just hit that button, boom, switch, pull out, put your mini on. It's just, it's so simple. That's what I love about this gun, it's insane. So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, moving forward, okay, so we've talked about the trigger, excellent, feels well. It's, it's a drop and it's simple. I used the pin that came with the stock one, they provide you a silver one. Okay, and I just used the black one because I want black on black. Okay, here's the instructions for the trigger. Pretty straightforward. Uh, remember, lock tight these screws. Once you find a perfect adjustment, lock tight them. You need to lock tight them. They will, you will lose them if you do not like them. Lock tight them. There are so many screws on this. I will say that's the other thing is you need to buy Loctite, Loctite up the wazoo. Uh, 242, 243 is probably what I get. Um, uh, yeah, that's probably what to get. You just blue Loctite it and do it correctly. These screws are, there are too many screws on here to lose. Okay. The funny thing is I've been shooting it and I didn't Loctite these screws, but look at it. It's already loose. You see that? Oh yeah, you can see that good. It's already loose. So, and I haven't lock tied it. So definitely lock tied it. This is the next part. Let me guys, let me give you a weigh in. I want to say the stock one is 103 grams. Okay. So it does add weight because this with the kit is, let's show you, I think it's 123. Yeah, it's almost 123. 122.9. Okay, so it goes up about 20, 20 ish grams, guys. The instructions. The only thing I will say, I will admit, I, I know I need to do a video on this. Um, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like upside down, in a, in a way. It's a little confusing if you've never installed anything like this. But other than that, it's straightforward. The black one comes with a short stroke kit and a return spring that's enhanced. Okay, here's the short stroke kit. You guys see that? Look at the part I'm moving. See how it stops? It stops a little bit earlier. Okay, and it's, it's, it's a pretty beefy short stroke buffer, okay? It's a, uh, let's see. I would say, it's, yeah, it's about, it's about four. Yeah, there you go, you see that? It's pretty beefy, okay? Um, what else? I give this thumbs up, but I say it's really, it's really about what you want. This racking handle, I think, is beautiful. You do not have to use this racking. Uh, you do not use to have to use the selector switch. You don't need it. You can use just a racking handle. So you would go, the only reason you're going to buy this is if you want the ability to switch on the fly without having to take out the slide, look underneath, push it. It is just, it is efficient and it works well. I will show you how it works. Um, take a look at it. You can see they provide you 
uh, a different part right here, one, two, and then in here. I'll show you in the red part. All you do is you just switch, you see? And it works really well. I gotta give it to them. It's a brilliant design. Uh, let me show you what it looks like new in package. Ouch. You see right here? That's the selector plate. I always probably say this is the selector. And that's what helps you turn it left to right. And then a bunch of little ball bearings, the spring and the screw, you gotta, you know, screw them all in. And how the racking handles work, if you don't want to stall them, it's got two web screws and it pulls on the blowback unit. Okay, it pulls. It's putting pressure on it. You guys see it? And that's how you tighten it. Okay, uh... Let's reassemble it and we'll shoot it. Is there anything we're missing? Did we... Okay, thumb rest right here is the wrong one. I'll show you what it looks like. Let me just put it on quick for you guys. It, it's, it looks beautiful. Feels great. I, I, <laughs> I'm buying the correct one now uh, since I'm an idiot. Okay. They give you a longer... Playing from Fee Beast. All right, let me put it on mute. Let me put that on mute. Okay. I've had that laptop forever. Okay. So what happens is you put it on, they give you one screw. Now, thumb rest guys are, I think they're personal preference. They're based on, you know, whatever you like. And then what you need to do is you also need to punch the pin just out a little bit. There's a little groove on it that helps it just lock in place. Just, you just hit the pin a little bit and it'll sit in it. Looks great, feels great, okay? Left-handed, right here, boom. Okay. Do you need it? Not really, because it's got, you know, there, there's no recoil in it, but it just helps, okay? Helps keep it down if you need to. I just love it because I think it adds a different dimension look-wise. Uh, I've always loved them. I've also loved, uh, I don't know if you guys know them, but they're called mud flaps. Uh, I don't know what they're called now, but they, I had them on a high cap, and they're super rare. Like, no one ever has them, but they go into safety. Uh, Freedom Art was one of the few companies that would make them. Those I miss. Those were so cool. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? I have a Glock right next to me. I have a Glock 18 to show you guys that. Check it out. Look. Yeah, I turn it down. There you go. Check that out. Is it crazy? You guys can see how different it is, though. It's like they're 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 pretty much the same, but they're also different by a lot of different measures. The hammer is very different. The chassis are very different. Uh, full auto sear is pretty much one to one. Valve reset one to one. Trigger bar is different. Uh, hammer release. What is that called? Sear? Yeah, sear. Is that the sear? Okay. You guys, it's been so long. Uh, my brain is as mush. You can see front is very different. Uh, I feel like the trigger spring, but this is an upgraded trigger spring. I don't think this one. No, no, I'm sorry. This is stock. I mean, I managed to keep this 100% stock. That's stock. So you can see Glock trigger spring is a little bit thicker versus AAP. Okay, this is a 100% Glock stand, uh, standard stock TM, except for the grip, obviously. This is. Mm, oh, this was. I was so happy to get this one. <laughs> but yes, all right. So very, very unique. All right, let's get the Maggo installed and let's install it. Man, we got some screws that are loose in here, but we're gonna take a chance because I'm gonna show you the chrono of this monster right here. We're at 90 PSI, by the way, guys. 90 PSI, keep that in mind. This thing is a monster. Uh, it is not legal by any means. Uh, thankfully, I think at 90 PSI, we're legal. I shot it with my uh, propane. It, this is not I mean close to legal. It's cold today, and it's shooting like 436, 430. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's put this back over here. I'm gonna turn that on. Let's build the upper. Let's put this away. TTI has set the bar high, guys. And I know there's a lot of people on, on uh, I think on Facebook or Instagram. I don't know which one it is. Asking about CTM. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. CT, uh, TTI has set the bar high. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting CTM parts. Okay. 
uh, that's going to take a little bit longer. And I'm not going to lie, all this did cost a lot. I'm hosting a garage sale at my house uh, this coming Sunday, uh, April 7th, to kind of help uh, kick my ass to clean the garage. And then hopefully we'll sell some stuff to recoup. Um, all right, let's get this. I just, I love, I got to be honest, guys, with how easy this system is. I, as much as I love how sexy Glocks are, I will always say this, sex, Glocks are way sexier. Well, not, we'll see it continue, but they're way sexier currently right now. But damn, with how easy the Glock, uh, the AAP is, I just, I love it. I love how easy this AAP is to, is to work with. Yeah, is to work with, to take apart. It's just so easy. So right now I'm becoming a huge fan of the AAP. Okay, we got that in. Okay. We got these two screws. And this is what I mean though. So if you have the 200, you look, I'll say this guys. If you get the six inch, you definitely want to consider picking up their 200 uh, you want to, it doesn't have to be there, but you can pick up a 200. Just pick up a 200. I'll show you where it lines up. It's probably the most secure. You can see it's right there. You have to see it just a little. Now, from like real steel point of view, if you want to make it look, you know, more, then this is, yeah, you don't want 200. You probably want like six inch, just like 170. 170 would be what you want. 170. 180 is probably where you would want to push, but that would have to be a custom size. I'm finding a, a, that size would be hard. That's the only downside I can say right now is, is that's going to be a little bit difficult. Okay. The person I can think of that would do that would be Edge GI. That's who I might hit up. Okay. Beautiful. I just look how. It's so easy. I love how self-contained it is. That's I just don't I don't get this with a lot of guns. I think that's why I also want to build. Uh, I think what we'll do for the editor we have the 4.5 and the mini is we're gonna build the uppers. We're trying to make them like uh, completely uh, custom. That means I need to. I'm tr I have to get the. I want to get the action army. TDC kit, and I saw there's there's a company called Stalker, so I gotta find the Stalker one. But that one is expensive; it's a hundred bucks for that TDC, and not, I don't like. I think you have to. That's the only thing I worry about the TDC kit is that oops, uh, that you you might have to drill into. And I'm like, oh boy, that's something I don't want. We're gonna get this and we'll I'll show you how the swatcher switch works and I think we got I right, let me switch to my right hand. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. We can see this is loose, but that's fine. I'm gonna lock tie it later. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Over here, if you guys can see top left, this is all the stock parts. Okay, let me get rid of that. Here we got. Let me get move these guys over here. Cause these are not stock, obviously. Boom. Boom. All right. So this is what we have replaced so far. You guys see pretty much. All right, that's what we pretty much. Got rid of. Okay. Put that over here. Over here. Okay. I mean, just look how easy that is. Then you got a six inch. It's just like, ah, oh, it's so cool. Look how good the racking handle looks. And it, it slips easy. Okay. These are 20 grams. I got me get my glasses on. We'll do our ghettos. I haven't done. 
Okay, my goal right now is to get the garage done. Then I need to make the like a so like a chrono shooter in front of me. Like I now have to cut a hole or something, and then make a PVC pipe. Actually, I have the PVC pipe. All right, this was the concept. Is I set it up, have it like mounted or something, and then just <laughs> just straight down into a little trash bag underneath or something. So I had the idea, but I just I haven't done it yet. Let me get my glasses on. This is. 90 PSI, okay? Let's put this right in front of you guys. Is it on? Is it on 20s? It is on 20s. Okay, we have, how many shots do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, I hope I'm in semi right now. Okay, let me put the TDC down. Okay, that one just rolled right out, but. Okay. We'll put this guy back here. Let me shoot one over here. Hopefully it's not flawed out. Okay, good. Oh, oops. Okay. What is, is that? Let me, my, let me get my glasses on. Jesus. Let me walk over there. Give me a second. Oh, oops. Alright, guys. That was a 90 PSI. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I was like 60, 70? <coughs> Alright. Well, unfortunately, we lost a couple of BBs to that. Let's turn it on and off. Alright. I might have to shoot a little bit more. All right, now that's actually 90 PSI. All right, let's see what 90 PSI should be under 400, okay? Ah, shit, that's too high. Oh, of course the last shot. Okay, let's, uh, let's put a little bit more. Maybe I have to lower it a little bit. Trying to keep this under 30 minutes. I'm scared the video is gonna load. All right, these are 20s. These are uh, Airsoft Precision BLS. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, that, did you guys see that? We're right under 400, thankfully. <laughs> Alright, so you guys can get away with 90 PSI. Uh, I'd probably even lower it just a little bit. Average is 392 at, is that 90? It is 90 PSI now. Alright, uh, it just feels good, it shoots great. Oh, let me, let's just make sure comp is still alive. Okay, let me switch to selector switch. I'm going to make sure it's empty first, and I'll show you guys how easy it works. Okay. So. Right? Look at that. It's insane. Works really well. Looks great. Looks sexy. They've done a good job. All these screws lock tight the hell out of them. Remember, you do not have to install this. So you would only buy this if you want a selector switch from the outside. I feel like this would benefit someone. Um, I feel like this would benefit like a sniper or, or someone that's running like this needs a just a, a secondary they can just pull out and just dump on somebody if they need to dump. Like just switch, you know, just on the fly. As a pistol primary player. Um, I don't know. 
uh, when I when I quit when I was not when I not quit but when I stopped playing they started banning full auto at my field, so like full auto wouldn't even be I don't know if HSP allows full auto but you can't have full auto so it's just I don't know if it'd be cool for that but I'm not gonna lie I still buy this it's cool looking it looks great it works well so <clears throat> titanium tactical industry you guys have done an excellent job. We're gonna be doing more videos on them. You know, I, we're, I'm, I'm gonna buy the damn uh, Mini 4.5. We're gonna get a couple more parts that I missed. We need to do a review on the Magwall. I mean, uh, not the Magwall, the magazine. That's why I have the extended ones out. They were, I was getting ready to review them. We'll do that in a separate video because I'm worried about the SD card, if it's gonna crash on me or not. So I'm gonna stop this here. This will be the next video. All right, see you guys around.